This is a short film about Wilton Castle from Bristow Primary School, where we will also be talking about William Gilpin and what he did for us. William Gilpin was an English artist slash tourist who was born on the 4th of June 1724 near Carousel and died April 1804. He had one brother who was called Sorry Gilpin. William Gilpin also created the Wye Valley tourist track which people now follow. He explored the Wye Valley and tourist attractions around it and he is renowned for being a travel writer. William Gilpin also made his pictures look better by putting the town bridge and Wilton Castle by each other. This was called picturesque art. William Gilpin was also the person that made other tourists want to come to Brussels. William Gilpin heralded the birth of the British tourism in this area. Gilpin developed a set of rules for finding the style of art called picturesque, which he used to paint the Wye Valley, which is what started tourism here. To Ross News at 2. Today William Gilpin will be giving us some facts of Wilton Castle. But before we talk to this 300 year old man we must tell you what we're going to be talking about. Wilton Castle was made to stop the Welsh from stealing livestock. This is now owned by Sean Windsor who will be talking to us another time. Now it's time. William will be with you in just a few seconds. The part of the river from Ross is tame. The banks are low and scarcely. An object attracts the eye except the ruins of Wilton Castle, which appear on the left, shrouded with a few trees, but the scene wants a complaint to give it grandeur. Well, that was William Gilpin's 250-year-old words. Goodbye! <coughs> Sir James Bridges bought the castle in 1651, but upset the voyagers as he wouldn't pick a side, so they burnt down the castle to help him decide. Wilton Castle dates back to the 12th century, built by the Long Jack family. The De Grey family then built the manor house. Thomas Egerton was an MP for Lancashire in 15th of May 1784 when he was made Baron Grey de Wilton and then in 1801 in of Wilton. St. Guy's Hospital then bought the castle in 1731. They rented out the land to tenants like Guy Hill until the 1960s. Today we will be discussing the ruins of the Norman Castle located in Wilton Ross and Wye. We'll go into more detail with Jack. If you take a look at Wilton Castle, you'll see towers are crumbling and battlement walls which makes a unique artefact from the 12th century. Thank you Jack. We will now he be hearing from Eva. The beautiful oak tree stamp proudly found in Norman Castle. Not only that, that's being swallowed by Mother Nature. Thank you Eva. We will now finally have a word from Lottie. There are very little left of, the, of Wilton Castle and what is left is very difficult to see and now is private and cannot be entered. Thank you Lottie, that's it for today. Wait, hang on, one more thing. Wilton Castle can be bought today for £1.5 million. Pounds. Thank you for watching Wilton Castle News. and I'll be interviewing the Gilpin family today. First off, Polly Gilpin. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Just get on with it, Polly. I don't even know what to say. What glued you to coming to Ross on Wine? Wilson Castle was a big attraction to me and my family. Thank you, Polly. Wicked! Now I'll be passing you on to William Gilpin. William, when you were paddling the River White, what was the main attraction to Wilton Castle? It was the fields next to it, and the structure, and the tourist attraction. I could really go on for ages. That's really not necessary. Thank you, though. And finally, Francis Gilpin. Your dad was obviously a very clever man. How did he come to these idea of making tourist attraction on the River Wye? He made it because he wanted to attract people to come to Ross. Mostly, 